development of mobile application for collecting special data for regarding the disaster incident reporting. Disaster management is complex and interesting domain. The need of disaster situations are very different from those found in normal life and domain present unique constraints which are both interesting and challenging to work. The experience of disaster management activities has proven that the special data can considerably facilitate for disaster management because most of the required information for disaster management has a special nature. In this regard, geospatial information system as a tool to collect, store, model, analyze, and display large amount of special information layers supports all aspects of emergency management. But there are substantial problems with collection of information regarding disasters. It is expected to discuss from this presentation how disaster incident reporting system is able to overcome the constraint imposed by the stage of response in disaster management. This involves measures taken in anticipation of, during and immediate after disaster to ensure that the effects are minimized and in order to enable new digital technology to better help out disaster strikes. In particular, we demonstrate the possibility of using modern smartphones to assist those attempts to deal with disaster to better perform data collection oriented tasks that the situa situations are thrust upon them. This is the basic theory how the system framework is functions. Application is basically used for collection of special data related with disaster situations. Special data can be used for disseminating effective public information through maps. They can improve information sharing and accelerate decision making, and they can provide logistic support, for example, finding optimal path for evacuation. And special data can be used for assessing the current state of disaster, example, delineating catastrophe area boundaries. A case study implementation of the proposed architecture for free open source emergency field data collection system. It uses an Android smartphone and its GPS receiver with a custom application to send special data to geospatial server. System has the capability of collection all information in disaster situation report, such as location data, affected data, safe location detail, damage detail, and one photograph of the disaster. Latitude and longitude of the location will be picked by the system runtime. By touching the control of the application, user can easily change the value he required. After validation, user input, system automatically save the data on the local database on the mobile. At the same time, system check its data connection facility and if the data connection is enabled, then the system send its data to a special database for analysis process. The geospatial server consists of the PostGIS with PostgreSQL as a DBMS. The web application of this system has incorporated with the special database for GIS related process. And this web application acquires information for a special database and shows them in the map at the same time when the special data has received the disaster information. This web application has the capability of doing GIS analyzing regarding disaster situations. And also, this application has the capability of exporting data to any GIS related format. The operating system selected for disaster application development was Google Android platform for a number of reasons. Openness. It is API is licensed with Apache license 2.0 that allow free and open distribution of the source code. Reach. Android had a market share of about half in 2011 and was forecasted to have more than half over the next few years according to the International Data Corporation. And later during the third quarter of 2013, IDC reported the market share of 81% for Android. Forward compatibility. Android is developed to keep application forward, that is application developed for an older or current version of the application will be likely work as the future version of the Android. Device accessibility. The Java programming language that is used for developing Android application and had easy access to which to test the application. When developing an application for the Android platform, the recommended and most popular integrated development environment is Eclipse with the Android development tool. 
the ADT, Eclipse with the graphical user interface tool, Android debugging, application testing on virtual and the physical devices, and digital signing of the application, among other things. In order to utilize this benefit, this application was developed on the PC with the Eclipse ID and the ADT. The challenge is getting precise GPS position in difficult terrain such as urban rubble can be sidestepped by the use of satellite image or other detailed base map enable users to identify a location on the map themselves. Assuming that the area is question is still recognizable, user can manually add their location in the map by clicking on the map. Since users can enter coordinate manually too, it is possible to use more powerful GPS receiver devices to assist in such areas. The challenging environment of critical but vulnerable communication network is tackled by being able to collect data without network connectivity and then to upload the master connection become available again. Although the system handled these two challenges well in separation, they remain in sig significant challenges. Especially if the network connectivity is unavailable in an area that also has a difficult terrain for GPS localization. The users may, in those cases, not be able to acquire accurate portion to the GPS and nor would they be able to relay satellite image for support as they can't view it offline. In total, the field trial with four participants of which three complete the assignment successfully can be considered to provide an adequate proof of concepts and illustrate the system effectiveness. However, more extensive trial with great number of participants, also including participants with prior experience from disaster response and recovery operations, would be necessary to make more conclusive evaluation. User friendliness has been identified as a particular important characteristic in order to achieve widespread adaptions and use of emergency field data collection system. And also GPS accuracy is generally may decrease in coming year due to increased solar activity. There are researchers been done to counter this effect somewhat by using GPS error correction sent to the mobile communication network, but such a corrections are not implemented in this system. And also, broadcasting live video streaming using mobile application is next challenge and next research will be focused on this step. With this, I conclude my presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the project team that I was involved with. Thank you.